This video is for the young graphic designers, web designers, and motion designers. If you wanna have a successful career in the creative space, whether you're trying to decide to go to college, to get a job, or to start your own business, this video is gonna help you out in a big way. And I'm doing some collaboration and some fellowship. I can't wait to introduce you to the person that we're gonna to interview today. We're gonna to have some fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this video is gonna be a little bit different because I have a special guest, Mr. Andrew Coffer, who's recently come to our office, started showing up, started helping out, and just started being a giver. And that for me is a big deal. And as you know, I've talked about this many, many times on the channel, is youth is a very big part of my heart, my mission, and why I'm doing what I'm doing, is I wanna teach the younger generations how to have a successful career in graphics, web design, motion design, marketing, or even sales. And so today we're going to talk with Mr. Andrew Coffer and I have a couple questions that I want to ask him and at the end I'll close it out with some statements and some things that are going to really help you as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's up buddy? Uh, nothing much. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, it's great to be in today and uh, it's, it's beautiful really. Got a wonderful background. Which right. Was, that was interesting to get to and uh, well, how little, are you doing? I'm doing great man. So I have a few questions for you. I wanted to make sure that you didn't know any of the questions or what the topic was, because I just want your honest answers just to give people feedback. I do a lot of mentorship and this is something I'm super passionate about. So my first question is, what made you stop in here into the office and pop your head in? Well, pretty simple really, uh, your logo. It was very intriguing and I, I've always been interested in the graphic design and the internet like spaces. Uh, for the longest time, I was wanting to do things on the internet, marketing and, and just try and build up a brand, ironically. And uh, well, I, it was really uh, just captured my imagination. Something pulled you in here. So it was, yes, it was the branding. See, branding is super important. The second part to that question, because this is one question, but there's two parts to it, is what made you keep coming back? just a simple thing of commitment really i i was uh it was something that i wanted to do it was something that i wanted to keep on doing and you, the only way you get to a place is you keep on working at it and you keep moving forward um well it, sure there was other things i could have done but nothing that would benefit me in the same way it was the kinds of conversations that were occurring in here and really just uh intrigue there you go yeah the, the, the continuous uh, the continued intrigue and in coming back and would you what say are, there was a connection in the personality types? Well, sure. I mean, you and I hit it off and we're able to just have conversations. We, we pinged back and forth on different creators and uh, yep. we had similar interests. Huh. That's smart. So did you come in here with any preconceived notions or intentions or were you just kind of just open mind, open minded, open hearted? Like what was what was your thoughts, you know, when you came back the second day, third day? Well, I knew I'd get things out of it coming up and showing here. I'd get your knowledge. And yeah. so, I mean, I guess you could say there were some selfish intentions, but it, it, was, it was nothing with malice. It was, it's more like it's, it's something I enjoy doing, I suppose. I don't think there's anything selfish about wanting to further your life and grow and, and look for opportunities. Those are important pieces. You see a freaking, if you're hungry and you see an animal walk by and you got a freaking weapon, might as well take it down, right? You got a gift. Your, your weapon is the gift that you have for people and having conversations and just being as intelligent as you are. So that's really, really important. So that was the question, the first question I wanted to open up to. The second thing I was just been dying to know and I haven't asked you yet because I was saving it for this was when you were younger and even whether it was this a year or two years ago, what did you want to do when you grew up? So I, I think initially, if you want to go back far enough, I wanted to be a firefighter, but uh, as, as things got worse in California, I kind of shifted away from that. And uh, it, it kind of grew into the things that I was consuming, right? So I was watching YouTube for a lot of the time. I was, was no other social medias. I was just like, uh, the, it was watching these people I went up to. And throughout the years, there's different people for different generations. And eventually I found myself on uh, this filmmaking channel. And well, it was, I don't know, it was, it was like, uh, you just got to share an aspect of yourself on the internet. <laughs> I love that. Uh, for the people that are watching this that probably don't know, uh, when I started in high school, I did video production. And that's what caught me is I started behind the camera and the next thing you know, I was in front of the camera and I got a taste for it. And that really sparked my interest. So my goal and one of the things that I really want to do for you here is to spark and, and to encourage that creativity, that that little nugget of desire and interest that you have and just add gasoline to that fire because you you've already got the spark. You've had the spark way before you came here. And so now 
embracing that and empowering that so that you can reach the full potential of where you're at. So that leaves me to the next question. Do you believe that you were put on this planet for a reason? And if you do believe that, what do you think that's for? What do you think it was? So I don't actually believe that. I, I've, I've kind of a, been a, yeah, I've kind of been a proponent of, of thinking we're, we're just on this blue marble, you know. But uh, I, I do think that there's this, these natural things that you're drawn to and these, these things that just you can't shake. Mm -hmm. um, and we always find our way around to them and it's like things stemming from our childhood and just the, the things that we've always just loved doing, maybe never thought of doing it this way. So if you don't think that, then what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to make of your life? Like where do you see your life in five years, 10 years, 20 years from now? Truly, I'd love to do something that I just, I enjoy doing, something that I, I well, I can't stop thinking about like you, you go to bed thinking of these things and like it's it's the, it's the stuff that keeps you up at night it's uh i in in a few years i'd like to be doing that thing of course and i i'd love for it to be in some kind of making space i love to create things it's 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 a natural part of me i just i continue with these ideas and it's it's all the time 24 7 and i'm well it, it'd be nice to make something uh, with videos somewhere in the just the creative space. So my next question is, is I know you watched the filmmaker and some other stuff. Who is the one person that you think so far in your in your life and what you're doing and what led you here? Because something led you here today and, and to this office on a regular basis versus your friend. Like you were probably the one that said, hey, let's go check this place out, right? It wasn't your friend, I'm guessing. So who in your life or what in your life or what person in your life inspired you? What do you think? What do you think is the inspiration that brought you here today? It's uh, it would be the number of creators that I watched. Uh, I also had a few mentors along the way. I used to, uh, I, I used to apprentice in a kind of form uh, under under my pastor. His name was Ed. I don't Ed Black. His name was Ed Black, and um, he was working in. A, I assume you know him. I I used to work for Ed Black. Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, so I was. Uh, I would help with things out at the church, and then uh, eventually I got drawn into uh, a radio station. I believe it was the the Fish, and uh, I would help out with uh, some recording activities there. I there was there was a, about an hour long interview or so that I was I was running the camera behind, and uh, you know the little things. I'd, I and it, I don't believe I ever helped with editing videos or the the intense stuff, but I was always there, just kind of handing microphone we needed, finding the cable, that, those sorts of things, and then. Uh, as the years went on, I just kind of uh, found myself doing it on my own, and well, it was it kind of grew from there. Wow! See how things. This is not just a small town, but it's a small world. Ed Black is somebody that actually gave me a position when I was going through a difficult time in 2018. I needed to supplement my income, and through that process, Ed Black had already been a friend of mine, and I had a radio show at Money 105.5, which is part of Salem Media Group, and that's who Ed worked for as well. Not sure if he's still there now but ed is a phenomenal guy so it's amazing that you had that influence and that person in your life and now here you are all right so my next question is what is your opinion of reading oh <laughs> reading i love to read i don't do it enough um i have many books i have lots of old books they're my favorite they're just beautiful and wonderful you feel the pages and mm -hmm. it's it's almost uh, like touching another person. It's it's the closest thing to a human you can possibly get because you you learn about their lives, you learn about the way they think and their, their, their personality along the way. And as for reading, it's it's mind expanding and uh, you just get to uh, explore other worlds. Do you think that uh, our future generation, your generation, do you think that they do enough reading? Like, what do you think is the biggest challenge? that's facing your generation right now i'm sure there's much larger issues than than reading or, the, first or the lack thing of comes, it yeah um the, f the first thing that comes to mind for challenges would probably be just kind of combating everything that's going on on the planet how do we reach an understanding um but for not enough reading <laughs> we, we definitely don't but i do think that as the years go on and different generations are born i think we're kind of going back to books like physical hard copies, um, paperback and hardcover, we're, we're naturally drawn to physical things, I think. And it's part of the reason why I love like proper development of film and just anything that is mechanical. That's, that's my draw. 
So those are all great answers. I just wanted to one, document this, but two, also just learn a little bit more about you. Let the people learn more about you because you're going to become more and more a part of what we're doing here, being a part of the channel, helping us film and all the cool stuff that we're going to be doing together. My last thing I just want to touch on real quick, because that's the topic of this video is where do you see yourself? In a job? Are you going to go to college? Are you planning on starting your own business? Like, how do you see that all unfolding for you? The most likely path that I'll end up on is is some degree of entrepreneurship. It's it's something I'm uh, I I guess it's one of the best things I'm good at, um, and it, it'll probably take me the furthest as well. But I'd love to go to a higher education when I can afford it, not take on student loans and all these sorts of things. It's it's like setting you back while also bringing your mind forward. I don't think somebody should go through those kinds of stresses just for the sake of uh, a higher wage or anything of those sorts. Um, but it, it's absolutely crucial to just us as people. We need to keep on learning. Other, otherwise, if we stop learning, we kind of plateau and we're not able to keep on going. It's Otherwise, you're in a, your nine to five job and you're just pushing paper, essentially. Those are some wide, wise words from a 17 year old. Um, I can just tell you right now with my life experience and the mistakes that I've made and all the things that I've done along the way, um, you're so far ahead of the ball you're gonna do great things. So just know that, believe that, trust that, trust that little voice that you have inside that drove you here, that drove you to keep coming back. Uh, if you follow those things, you're gonna live an extraordinary life, probably greater, than, I want you to have a greater life than I had. So I'm really proud of who you are, proud to you came in here and that we're getting the chance to work together and that uh, you're making the commitment and dedication to not just us, but to yourself. Um, to do something to, to grow as a person. You know, you've been here a couple of weeks now. I'm sure you've already learned quite a few things from the conversations, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, thank you for saying all that. It, it truly means a lot. And uh, Bill, the, what, what truly keeps me back is we're here for a noble cause. We're, we're trying to do things and we're trying to better, I, I guess, humanity in the graphics design space overall. It's, uh, it's something that's worth working for and something I'd gladly keep on doing. So there are four things that I really wanted you guys to take away from this conversation, and these are very important and I'm gonna make them quick. The first thing is you gotta get the skills. You gotta get into an environment where you can learn, you can grow, you can be challenged, and you can grow as a person and as a professional. The second thing is you need to get the experience. You need to go out there, try new things, get turned down, be told no, be told yes, have wins, have failures. And that's the third thing is the failures or the mistakes. You need to make mistakes. If you're trying to avoid failure, you're trying to avoid taking risks, you're never gonna be able to move forward in your life. Risk is an essential part of life. Everybody needs to go out there and take risks because if you just play inside the lines and you don't go outside the box and you just try to live life inside the box, you're never gonna live the life that you were truly meant to live. And the last thing is you need to get a mentor. A mentor is so important. Mentors changed my life. Mentors have already changed Andrew's life. And I really want you to take that to heart. So think about that deep. I want you to write a comment, explain to me what you took away from this video and make sure that you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, because this is just the beginning. We're gonna level up the content. We're gonna level up the information and the education that we're gonna give you. And we're gonna keep having fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.